Okay, uh, what you're seeing there, side attractions, are uh, coming from day one of the channel's International Kids Cup. For the lads that couldn't get to play, uh, they had other opportunities to show off uh, whatever talent they have. Uh, we saw the dancers already, and now we're seeing the ball juggling. Ah, uh, isn't the ball juggling not the easiest thing in the world, so to see a player actually have his uh, take his game on at that very young age is very impressive. I mean, very impressive. One thing I like about ball juggling is the fact that it, so it provides a lot of entertainment, to be cool. very honest. Absolutely. And um, for those of us who like to criticize guys who show off on the field, of, I just have one question. Yeah. How many of you can actually do 10 reps of ball juggling? <laughs> just 10. 10. We had the commentator counting yeah. 61, 62, yeah. 10. 10. 10 without the ball I can, dropping. I can do that. I can do 100. Like, easy. Okay. Eyes closed. Okay. We can, we can challenge. do it after. There's a challenge, right? Yeah. 100. I can do it. We're going to do it and record it. 100. Put it on social media we'll for the ball. Yes, we're going to do that. <laughs> 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 but this is just it's fantastic. Yeah. This is after the game, <laughs> and the guy is just having a lot of fun. And um, yeah, it's, 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 it's all around fantastic stuff for the kids. Just the football. Man, he's got the feet. <laughs> he's got it. He <laughs> told us. Uh, right. dance. <laughs> Young man can dance. dance. <laughs> oh, this is what's the dance called again? It looks very familiar. Shaku. I don't know the name. Shaku. What? Is that it? Shaku. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a variation of Shaku Shaku. Shaku Shaku. Whatever. <laughs> Oh my god, amazing stuff, but today, the serious stuff will return, yes. and we cannot wait for uh, uh, the second round of um, matches to be played at the Kids Cup. Uh, Cecilia, hopefully, uh, the Lagos State representative, mm -hmm. uh, uh, OK Fako, can, you know, return to winning ways. A draw is not a bad way to no, start. No, at all. At uh, least but, exactly. You know who my, I'm rooting for, right? Ooh. Obviously, so I won't name, I won't say uh, that. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, let's enjoy more highlights before we go on the break. Uh, talking about the game between Oshun and Edo. Uh, covering the game involving uh, Emmanuel Nursery and Primary School. Dangerous uh, moment, dangerous moment before I could land. Our uh, Guleri boys have taken the lead here at Taslim Balogun Stadium. First half of this game almost over. An opportunity now again for the boss of He loops it and it's a goal. A second goal. And I think two goals to nil it should be a comfortable cushion room. Defense sloppiness, of course, you do want to be that sloppy. Good afternoon, welcome to the Channel's International Kids Cup 2018. And um, it's been uh, yes, yes, uh, we are back uh, to give it the best of uh, Kids Cup action, especially when it comes to discovering talent uh, at this level. It's happening at the Teslim Balogun Stadium here in Lagos, rural area to be precise. And um, on your screens, you have schools from Oshun and Edo State. Now, quickly, we should tell you, or we should remind you, that the finals um, is housing 16 teams, and there can only be one winner. Two teams representing Lagos State, and you have um, other states being represented here. Also, we also have uh, two. Um, international teams uh, from part of West Africa. On Sunday, May 27, Children's Day, and now hostilities will begin with Oshun State uh, playing from left to the right hand side of your screens. And then you have the boys from Edo State, Arinze Primary School, to be precise, Benin City, playing from right to left on your screen for a goal kick. Goal kick to Baptist Primary School from Oshun State. And he sent it in. What is he trying to do? That's what he's been doing since he came on. A good shot. And that would definitely go wide again for another goal kick. Goal kick. Edo State, Arinze. Still holding on. The boys from Baptist Academy still holding on as well. And I beat his man nicely. Good turn in. He finds the pass, number seven. He has a chance. His name. And he shoots, and it's a goal. Finally. Finally, the deadlock has been broken. I can see the jubilations. Interesting one. It's the number 13 man, the guy that came on at halftime. 
Adekomi Jeremiah was giving his school the lead in this one. It's Baptist Primary School, Adawa Day 1. Arinze Primary School, Benin City, nil. And the game is going to go on. And we expect a fight back from the boys from Edo State, Dami. Certainly a brilliant goal there. Well worked from the boys from Oshun State. And we're expecting a fight back from Edo. Like Femi rightly said, they have been the better side in this game. They've had the better clear cut chances. They've hit the post. And unfortunately, like we've seen time and time again in this tournament. Welcome back. Okay, Austin is in the studio. You know when he's in the studio right here, he just wants to break it down. What happened? Action from day one of the channel's International Kids Cup. It's good to have you. Good to be here, Cecilia. <laughs> good morning, Tayo. And uh, it's good to also see this gentleman that loves <laughs> basketball, football, and everything sports. Yeah, the channel's International Kids Cup season 10 is upon us. And I've seen the videos you guys have been playing, and it tells you that the fun and excitement is back. Uh, yesterday, we, we saw a competitive game of football. The, the teams are now very careful. Benin Republic came here last year, and they didn't win a match. They won yesterday. They came from a goal down to beat Ogun, and they gave us a sort of music and dance. So some person come interpret for us. I don't know if you guys are making jest of the team from Nigeria. But it was fun. 12 goals scored. Um, People are beginning to anticipate this competition. Before the, the guys left Ghana, there was a proper report on them from a Ghanaian TV station to say they're coming to Nigeria. You know, emotional scenes of parents hugging their kids, saying goodbye, win the trophy, come back for us. So it's more like a championship stuff of what we see. And we like it because right here, we're telling persons that we can give proper attention to the grassroots and monitor these talents grow. So we saw those of the, the action yesterday. Ghana couldn't play because a lot of people have been sending yeah. messages and asking, why didn't we see Ghana? Imo pulled out at the late minute. <clears throat> and so Oyo is representing Imo. So Oyo came in late yesterday. He was supposed to, Imo was supposed to play Ghana. So now Oyo will play Ghana today. That was the first match that we're going to have. So oh. we'll get to see the Black Stars um, kids play. For <laughs> Black <laughs> Stars. <laughs> That's Future what, Black that, Stars. That, that, that's, what they were, that's what they were wearing. They were wearing the, 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 the uh, ceremonial where they had the Black oh, Stars. Like, really? You really Black Stars? So yes. That, you know, that, that's how the, the Gian and their Benny Pele started. started. So uh, we, we, at this point, look, I can't underrate any of these kids I'm seeing because the revolution is being televised. Uh -huh. We can go back and tell, didn't we tell you? You know, you can tell somebody, uh, you, you mean you don't know this guy? I don't know about you guys. I didn't see a video of John Moby Mikel played football at 10. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe we saw him at the academy, yeah. and then when he played on the 17th, but we're seeing kids play football <laughs> at 8. You know, so it's just awesome. So it see that sometimes a... when you're with these guys, you struggle to get the words to yeah. explain to what they're doing. You know, and due to popular demand, they say, bring down the goalpost. The goalpost is too high for the... Okay, so we brought a smaller goalpost, you know, and so we get a lot of 0, zero results, we still have a 1-1, one, one, but they stopped these guys from scoring, and that was a beautiful finish. Uh, the guys from Quara played beautiful football yesterday. ex Planter also played good football. So today, we're going to see more okay. action across the four groups. Okay, basically, outside the results and all that, is there something else that happened, you know, the opening day? Of course, oh, this competition... You don't play football without screening. We'll screen and screen you again and screen you. And, you know, in screening these kids, you, you feel that burning passion that they have to just want to play football. And so a guy came to me and he's already been screened. And he says, Uncle, why am I not playing? I said, because you look older than 13 and you're so tall. He said, I'm a goalkeeper. Call my father and my family. That's yeah. the problem. We're wow. too tall. <laughs> wow. You know? So right there, I, I, felt for, I felt for him, and I was like, this guy could, you know, can I really be yeah, You know, yeah, really yeah understand. Understand. Yeah. you know, tie up. I mean, and sometimes, because of how passionate they are about their football, some of them, as early as, as, early as um, seven. 11, 7, they're yeah, already seven, jogging, eight, yeah. putting their bodies into condition. So the yeah. guy comes here, he's looking old. I mean, Seal Walcott signed a professional contract at Arsenal at 16. 16. Mm -hmm. 
If at 16 he can be standing in the English Premier League to play professional football, then when did he start? Mm. So this guy, I just looked at him and said, I could be saying the truth, but when the technical committee, there's no other way other than I will say, okay, take off your clothes, we'll look at you, we'll tell you run. The guy is giving you agility, he's giving you balance. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is like a kid, you know? So yeah. you feel for them, they're, they're telling you, please, please, I came all the way. One guy said, ah, be me, I came from BD to my friends, I'll be on channels, I have yeah. to play. You know? So we did the screening, it has a zero tolerance to eight cheats. We, we know what we're doing. We're trying to keep our credibility as a TV station, our, our integrity, and also imbibe life values into the kids. Tell them someone cannot tell you to lie. If you're 15, you're 15. A competition is going to come. You're going to have your break. Don't mm. lie to go and play in another yeah. 13 competition. Right. Which has been yeah. a major, major issue yeah. uh, in Nigerian football. Yeah, yeah right. obviously. That's it. Well, Austin, one thank you for we coming. Run now. Mm. Need Just need to run. Need to run. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sprint, you, right? 100 you. meters. Uh, 10 seconds, 100 meters. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, you know what? You guys are great. I mean, craving to really watch the World Cup. You got a chance to do that on Channels Television, Terrestrial Channel. We'll definitely be showing how many games, like all the African games and all Nigerian matches you get to watch. But then we'll just get to hear more from this report.